Extension Cord and Welding Lead Safety Program. Requirements. This written program and testing record log will be available on each job site for inspection and copying by any affected individuals. Purpose. To ensure workers that the power tools and power cords used have an effective working grounding conductor for electrical safety and shock protection. PLOS Incorporated will test and inspect all tools and power cords in accordance with the following procedures. Designated competent person. PLOS Incorporated Safety Director will be responsible for designated a designating a competent person to perform these procedures for each job site. Use of cords and cord connected tools. Cords and cord connected tools will not be available or permitted for use until testing described below has occurred. Testing required. All cord sets and receptacles not part of a building's or structure's permanent wiring will be tested. All cord and plug connected equipment required to be grounded will be tested. Testing frequency. All cords and cord connected tools will be tested, number one, before its first use, number two, before being returned to service following any repairs, number three, before being used following any incident that can be reasonably suspected to have caused damage, number four, at intervals not to exceed six months for fixed cords and receptacles, number five, at intervals not to exceed three months for all other cords and cord connected equipment. Test procedures. All equipment grounding conductors will be tested for continuity and will be electrically continuous. Each receptacle and attachment cap or plug will be tested for correct attachment of the grounding conductor. The equipment grounding conductor will be connected to its proper terminal. Testing identification. All cords and power tools will have a color-coded taped band approximately one foot from the tool or mail cap end showing the last time the cord was tested. The cords will be first quarter yellow, second quarter blue, third quarter green, fourth quarter red. Daily use inspection. All cord sets, attachment cap, plug and receptacle of cord sets and any equipment connected by cord or plug will be visibly inspected daily before being used for number one, external defects, deformed or missing blades or pins, number two, external insulation damage, number three, indications of possible internal damage. Any equipment or cords found damaged or defective will be taken out of service until it has been repaired and tested. Welding leads. These safety procedures will also apply to welding leads. The only allowable repair material for welding leads is shrink tube. Absolutely no tape repairs will be allowed.